of access of tricuspid valve view on apical four chamber view. In most cases, uh, apical standard apical four chamber view is enough for detecting and measuring uh, TR or tricuspid regurgitation. But as in the practice, you will notice, especially old people and those people they have. COPD or lung problem and pulmonary hypertension, it is very hard to get a, uh, TR uh, very clearly and even uh, those some patients they have uh, septal jet so the instead of the central go central the jet go septal and in this case if it's septal it's very hard in the apical four chamber standard get parallel the cursor. Imagine, let me put cursor here. If I put here and we have jet this way to the septal, so it's almost off and always you will underestimating uh, TR. That is very important for measuring pulmonary pressure. In those cases, uh, we have to go off axis, get off axis the tricuspid. For, uh, for this purpose, we move it uh, transducer or probe to the midline and a little higher than apical four. So one or two intercostal higher than and move to the midline. And you get uh, this image or a little, I go here and you can see uh, little off axis doesn't matter because we don't care about if the left and right ventricular is short for shortening but the most important we want to detect and make the jet parallel to the cursor for Doppler measurement so in those cases uh, as a general rules I recommend always beside of the standard apical for chamber for tricuspid Go get it uh, one of access to the midline a little higher than usual, and 100 person you can make you can detect many times uh, TR even better, and uh, that you couldn't uh, detect on the apical four chamber in the standard view, and it helped for correct diagnosis of pulmonary pressure as you see here a little off axis and I move it to the probe to the midline and a little higher than usual.